So yesterday uh, I created the brand new UR tier list, like overall UR tier list for every single activity in the game. You can check it out if you wanna. We also added Dobby and Red to the and Red to the Rocky to that tier list. Okay. I just today we're gonna create the PVP tier list. So we're gonna rank all of these UR characters based on their PVP uh, performance. Okay. So this will be the PVP UR tier list. Yesterday I. Like I said, I created the UR tier list, the updated version. I just want to correct myself. So yesterday I put Dobby in like high A tier. Okay. But yeah, today I pull, pulled him from a free single summon. You can check it out on my on one of my previous videos. And I used him in a lot of activities. I still didn't awaken him, but he's S tier. Okay. I want to move him from the A to the S. Red Todoroki. Red Todoroki will be still an A, uh, high A tier, okay? In my eyes. That's not for the PvP, I'm saying for like overall UR tier list. Just wanted to correct myself. So yeah, Dobby slightly better than this Todoroki. In my eyes, Dobby definitely mid, low S tier. Uh, Todoroki high A tier, okay? So I just wanted to correct myself from yesterday. Because today I know much better because they use him a lot. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna do the PvP tier list. So we're gonna only rank these characters based on their PvP performance. Not VE Tower, not USJ, only PvP. Okay, first I will start with the characters that I used a lot in PvP and can be pretty much certain where they should go. Uh, first of all, Aizawa S tier. Okay, 100%. No one can change my mind on that one. Uh, his ceiling is got here. Like, like when you seal your opponent, he cannot go next turn. He cannot use the action skill. With that, he only uses the two characters out of three. That means he will have lower speed because you will use all three chain. Okay? All three of your characters. So you have much better speed. Already, this will be a huge deal. Plus, he can remove buffs. Plus, he can with the ultimate or, or plus ultra. He can also seal and remove buff. So, overall, yeah. Aizawa is a god. An extremely fast unit. So, in my eyes, he's definitely one of the best PvP units in the game that I often use. And I often beat opponents like you already saw that's crucial aizawa broken busted in pvp for some of these characters i'll have to go a little bit in database remind me myself but blue buck will s tier the damage wise the aoe damage he can do it's incredible uh he can be nullified don't get me wrong with aizawa with green todoroki bakugo is a goner but not many people use green Todorok in PvP. So you're pretty much safe with this buck, you know. Uh, crazy damage dealer. That's enough. Okay, just because of that. Solely based on that, he's insane. Um, now, green Todorok. Uh, I'll put him in A tier. He is amazing. I have him like fully built up. I use him. These days, although I use this Todoroki because he's slightly better than this one for PvP just because he's a crit machine freeze burn and his ultimate doing crazy damage plus uh, this blue Todoroki world hero mission Todoroki gives so much to your team increases the skill impact buff himself like he buff himself like crazy if you have any pro hero on the team uh what else I forgot now Uh, blah 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 okay freeze burn uh, all of that but yeah increase power pro hero is incredible plus you can uh restrain bind your opponent with the ultimate and high chance of freeze freeze is one of the greatest stun effects in the game at the start of each wave increase power by 40 and he does so much for the team because he also buffs 
the team if i remember correctly and i believe it doesn't say here all allies gain gain 30 percent damage reduction that's huge <laughs> okay this is huge because damage reduction in pvp is huge now the green todoroki is like he can he could potentially go in s tier but he's slightly worse than aizawa bakugo and this todoroki he has both of aoe action skills burn freeze he can do all of that uh it's all about doing the aoe damage and with the ultimate you want to do crazy damage plus ultra right and he can freeze with the ultimate so yeah with the freeze with this effect of stun yeah he can be helpful he can do great damage aoe uh, if you have him fully built up but more than that no okay but definitely a tier really really good pvp unit all for one also a tier i didn't use him a lot but i used him on my jp account he's really good because of lowering skill impact uh, plus when he uses the plus ultra he also gets the cooldown really fast done so he gets the action skill immediately what else He's really good in a villain team, so yeah, if you have villain team, definitely worth it. This All Might, honestly, for PvP. Uh, and this one, okay, one second. I mean, to be honest, I don't have this All Might. Where it is, okay, here and here. Uh, let me see the yellow one. I play high field, villain. Increase own plus ultra guy by 100%. Okay. That can be useful. Increase power and speed. Uh, yeah, the, the, this all might, he just won't work in PvP. D tier. <laughs> Sorry. Um, increase skill damage by 20%. Okay. If target willing, increase skill damage. If target enemy has critical rate down. Um, yeah, no, like no. He he's nothing too special for PvP C tier. Uh, then we have this yellow Bakugo. Okay, wait. I, I have more characters. Okay, blue Kirishima and red kirishima s tier both of these characters are incredible in pvp and i believe most of you will agree with that just because of their power of cover for your allies plus they can do great damage and great counters so overall kirishima's s tier no doubt about that Shigaraki with all for one works really really good really good damage dealer especially against the pro heroes so he can work really, really good in villain team. Uh, Hawks. Okay, now we have like blue Hawks in PvP. D. Uh, green Hawks in PvP. High A tier. Okay? Just because of his power of evasion. Like, immediately when he increases on power, when evasion... Uh, at the start of the battle, all allies evade one attack. That's huge deal in PvP. A lot of people use these hawks in PvP. Maybe he even deserves an S tier. But just because I didn't use him, I don't want to put him in S tier. Um, he's all good with evasion, but I always manage to beat him without any like big problems. All allies speed increase. Okay, you know what? I'll put him here now when i read this like aoe and then all allies speed increase by 15 percent speed is really important in pvp all allies add second attack chance yeah that, that, that's evasion and speed buffer really good low s tier for sure uh, what else momo a tier okay she can speed down your opponents she can heal up and with her plus ultra she can buff the plus ultras for your all allies so that's really really good uh this uh, this bakugo s tier in pvp one of the best pvp units in the game uh why is that he he does massive damage in pvp Low chance to burn, reduce enemy critical rate, increase speed by 30, okay, when HP is more than 50, 
spill plus ultra guy by 30 percent at the start of the battle speed plus ultra really fast a crucial in pv so that's that's amazing then we have when hp is less than 50 increase power by 40. Okay. yeah like he works like extremely good i really want him one of the best pvp units in the game so yeah have in mind guys um how i put these units in certain tier it doesn't matter i didn't base them from worst to best or something like that they're just like s a b c d that's it okay uh and please in the comment section below tell me if you disagree with something i will i will definitely check check that one out and see okay and um, red todoroki s tier uh, one of the best pvp units in uh, the game okay he can do a lot decrease the opponent defense frostbite increase skill damage when burning if the opponent is burning then we have low chance of causing frostbite also increase character plus ultra by 30 percent he will have the plus ultra extremely fast burn frostbite all of that extremely important Decrease speed of all opponents by 15% for 3 turns when a wave starts. Also increase character skill damage. Like, solely decrease speed. Huge deal in PvP. In my eyes, definitely S tier character for PvP. Huh. <sighs> Dobby. Okay. I think that Red Todoroki is better in PvP than Dobby. I still didn't use him a lot. He's amazing character. Like, burning... Else far, uh, can like when he self burn, he gets that critical rate, that skill impact increase. So he will do the damage. He will do the damage to your opponents AOE all the time, except the plus ultra. But that's pretty much that. He, if you don't have heal, he will die soon. If you have the heal, yeah, you can play with him. So definitely, really good A tier for him. Okay. Uh, now. Uh, Nejire S tier. Okay, this Bakugo in PvP, I believe. Like, let me see. Uh, that's yellow Bakugo, right? Yes. So, increase speed. Okay. It increase critical rate for all allies. Plus ultra by thirty. Increase power when speed debuff is active. Not, not bad not bad b tier okay b tier uh but nothing too crazy who should we go next um uh, let's go with the purple todoroki i believe he's also like b tier nothing more than that maybe even lower to be honest like he's good in pv content but pvp I didn't see him. No one uses him, bro. Like, literally no one. But yeah, yeah, like, no. No, for PvP, ah, uh, no. Like, C, okay. Um, Toga, I believe D for PvP. Yeah, like, she can only, like... One second, bleed. Increase crit, gain evasion, bleed, bleed. Okay, that increased speed when evasion is active. Okay, okay. Okay, she can be like faster. Ba ba ba. Gain evasion after plus ultra. Uh, yeah, first you need to use the plus ultra so she can be usable. C tier. Uh, then we have another toga, maybe B tier maybe b tier i'll check it out now but i believe she's like slightly better bleed bleed bleeding plus ultra fills plus fills plus ultra increase critical rate okay ah no nah. for pvp no 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 also c tier um uraraka really good a tier if not even s tier like i use her a lot her evasion and the heal is a savior now i might like hawks and uraraka like really high a tier for pvp 
Like Uraraka won't do like crazy good damage, but with the heal evasions plus the counter attacks can be extremely useful. Evasion especially. But I don't know. I believe the S tier characters are slightly better than the A tier character here. Now it's it's really hard for me to decide now. Is Hawks and Uraraka also S tier? I'll put them like in high A tier. It will be more balanced like that. But guys between a tier and s tier they're just slightly different like almost no difference like no joke okay overhaul uh c maybe yeah b okay i'll put overhaul in b for pvp maybe i'm wrong i don't know maybe i'm wrong uh bro hero medium chance supply fear Auto heal, all allies gain 20% HP. I mean, yeah, B tier. B tier. Uh, this Aizawa, B tier. Uh, I, 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 I just need to... Okay, I don't know what he does, but I believe he's nothing special. Like, not above B. B or C right here. I don't know. I'll put it in B. Not sure about him, honestly. Uh, okay, we have a few more characters left. So let's speed it up. Chigoraki high a tier for pvp like honestly he's really good in pvp uh decrease enemy defense gain evasion oh this this but this is like huge where is his plus ultra like he go, goes aoe inflict 200 percent aoe inflict self damage Increase gain evasion fill up plus ultra by 50 percent yeah um, yeah he's really good like a high a tier of a unit tokoyami like c tier shinzo b tier just because you can troll with him a little bit <laughs> with the bind and everything else plus he can decrease speed so he's like low a high b tier uh okay we have this yellow deku nothing too special d like okay this deku is c uh he has like the craziest damage with the plus ultra but he inflicts self damage paralyzation and all other stuff yeah c tier nothing too crazy <sighs> am i missing one midoriya I might be missing one Midoriya. Yeah, I'm missing one Midoriya. Why I always miss one of the characters? I don't get it. Okay. So this green Midoriya um, that I don't have in the tier list uh, can be like usable. He has its own usages, right? But nothing too crazy. Okay, not. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, not, not, nothing too crazy. Yeah, increased skill grit, uh, speed, plus ultra damage, plus ultra by 40. Yeah, he can be like low-key usable, low-key usable. But yeah, the Midoriya I don't have, the green one, also B tier, okay? Slightly better than the C tier units. Uh, okay, now let's do these two more Midorias that I have. Uh, so this blue one... Uh, Air Force Deku. Decrease enemy speed by 30%. Decrease enemy critical rate. Really good. Re gain evasion for 3 attacks. Increase speed by 40. When HP is 50 or less. Yeah, he's like extremely, extremely good. High A tier. Maybe even S tier. But I'll leave it in A tier for now. Because still not a lot of people use him. Uh, and we have the red one. Inflicts, oh yeah, he's like, uh, he's doing the inflict self damage and all other stuff. Not good for PvP C tier. Um, okay, we have three more characters to go. Endeavor, 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 endeavor. High chance to burn, gain grit, decrease enemy speed by three per, uh, ten percent. Enemies AOE. By 30, increase attack, deals reverse damage. Yeah, overall, like, he's really, really good. 
Maybe not so much for PvP, but overall, yeah, he's really good character and he can go in A tier in my eyes for sure. Uh, okay, and now we have like two more. So let's get it. Where it is. Okay, Asui for PvP. Not good. Okay, for PvP, no, no. Okay. No, no, C tier. Okay. And then we have this Todoroki. Uh, let's see. Burn, bleed, burn, uh, burn. Yeah. For PvP, also, he will be nothing too special. Okay. Like C tier, also. Okay, guys. So, pretty much, this would be my. Um, this would be my PvP tier list. Uh, I'm not saying my 100% correct. I could be wrong with some of those. Please correct me in the comment section below. I mean, maybe this Midoriya here B tier. Okay, maybe. Just maybe. Okay, that's that. So, yeah, guys. Uh, I might be wrong with some of those. But at the end of the day, I believe i done a pretty decent PvP tier list. Uh, have in mind, like I said, I put Aizawa here, but that doesn't mean he's the best PvP unit in the game. Okay, so I only put them in certain tier, but not from the worst to best or best to the worst. Okay, have that in mind because I don't want to complicate too much. <laughs> That's that, guys. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, tell me in the comment section below your opinions. Uh, and yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.